and there's no aspect, no facet, no moment of life that can't be improved with pizza. Thank you. Dark hair makes me look pasty. I'm gonna be doing a couple things today. Um, I'm going to try to review some powder if I have the time to. First of all, my eyebrows. I kind of want to have straight brows today, so I really like having straight brows when I have bangs. I just like the way that it looks. And if you want to know what straight brows are, it's basically when you don't have an arch on the lower part of your brow. They're usually a little bit shorter too. I elongate mine though because I like for my eyeballs to look long. Yes. I love that. I love a big bushy bro. Get it on. I'm going to use my Peach Dream Palette from Juno & Co. And I'm going to use the shade Melba right here. And I'm really just putting this down as a transition shade so that the brighter color that I'm going to be putting on top of it has a nice smooth buddy to, to help it get by as far as blending. And I'm bringing that all the way out here towards the tail of my brow bone, or my eyebrow. Once you've got that blended out, you wanna go ahead and grab a really pretty hot pink, and I mean hot. So I'm going to be using this one right here from my Urban Decay Electric Palette, and this one is called Savage, Savage. And I'm going to take a Sephora Pro Smoky Crease Brush, and that's what it looks like. And I am going to start on the outermost part of my crease and bring it all the way in, honey. I gotta stop filming in the morning because I feel like I sound so raspy. I'm tapping this in and I'm spreading it out where I want it to be, which is all up in here. And I'm going to switch brushes real quick. And I'm basically going to build up this pink eyeshadow until I'm satisfied. Because I really want it to be loud. Yes. Okay, so the next eyeshadow that I'm going to go into is Urban. And it's basically a really pretty purple. I'm going to put it right here. That's always the safest place to put my eyeshadow. Like right on the outer corner. And I'm just going to sweep this into my crease. And real quick, I'm going to switch back to my Sephora brush. Mm, I want more purple. And I'm adding some of the pink on top of it. Now that we're all blended, I'm gonna take my Sephora brush and Savage again, and I'm just going to pack it right up in here. And that way I don't lose this beautiful pigment. right up in this inner corner. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is cut my crease, and I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade, uh, the yellow color corrector shade.
And I'm just going to take a little bit of my Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder from IT. And I'm just going to tap that right on top of it because I don't want it to crease. Yos. I'm going to take some more of Urban and put it on the outer corner here and blend it in. I kind of want to add another, some more colors. So I'm going to take some blue. This is the shade Chaos. And I'm going to pack it on. Sis. Sis. What is pigmentation? Okay. This is what pigmentation looks like. And again, I'm coming up on that line that I created with the concealer. This eyeshadow is matte, so it's going to blend different into the purple because the purple is like a satin shade. And right here, I'm really just packing on the blue because it's a matte eyeshadow. It will naturally fade when it's blended and my primer is not wet so i'm just gonna pat it on and blend it where i need it to and i'm just going to take this pigment from mac called marabou that's what it looks like really really pretty ah. and i'm going to put that on my inner corners Ooh, so pretty one thing I really like about MAC's metallic pigments is they look good wet or dry. I love that. And right here, I'm just sweeping the metallic pigment across my lid and into the blue eyeshadow. Now, if your eyeshadow is matte on your lid, it will dust it off, but you can just add more blue on top of the shimmering pigment. I really want to use this. So I'm going to take a little bit of this pink color with some blue. I'm going to come right up in here with this glitter. This is definitely a lot harder than it looks. You really want to make sure you take your time with this and use the right brush for you to get that nice, precise, glittery line across your crease. And I'm just going to take the glitter now and put it on top of the pigment. Just so we match in, you know. Okay, so once the glitter and stuff dries, I just go back with my brush and make sure I blend out the blue. Okay, so I'm going to do my foundation and I'll be right back. got this box from Influencer, and on the inside is the new Laura Mercier powder. So let me just pull this stuff out. This is their new product, the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder Glow. And they also sent me the brush along with the small size of the original translucent setting powder. So basically, from what I understand, you're supposed to set your face with this and then apply this for a glow. Yeah, you're supposed to use a brush, this brush to apply the glow powder. So let me open the brush. That's what the packaging looks like. The powder is $38. Both of them are. And then this is what the brush looks like. I like when they come with protective shapers because you can reuse them. But this is what the brush looks like. It's super duper soft. Mm, I don't think it's synthetic. Let me look at the back. It says, gently swirl the brush to pick up the product, tapping off any excess powder using a light sweeping motion, apply it all over the face. So, I don't think this is a synthetic hairbrush, which normally I try to avoid real hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and blend in my concealer because it's been sitting on my face for a minute. 
And then I'm going to set it with the Laura Mercier loose setting powder, which comes with a puff, which I don't use the puff because I don't like the puff. And there's also a seal, which is nice. So what I'm going to do is close it because it comes with a sifter. I'm going to close it and I'm going to shake out some product. And I'm actually going to apply the powder the translucent setting powder with my beauty blender. So let me blend in my concealer. And my beauty blender is damp, if you're curious. I feel so raspy. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Lord Mercy A powder. And I'm going to set my under eyes. Now this powder is really, really finely milled, so um, it looks great on the skin, for me anyways. If you have dry skin, I think this powder would be much better for you than a lot of the other ones, only because it's so fine. Of course, if you have dry patches, You'll want to avoid really, really heavy powders. But this is good for underneath the eyes. It is expensive though, I'll say that. So I've used this powder before and I like the powder. I like how it sets, but I feel like throughout the day I get creasing and stuff when I use it. So, at least underneath my eyes. And it's probably because it's so finely milled. It doesn't have a super duper strong hold. But anyway, that's besides the point. Now I'm just going to open this. So this says, the iconic translucent loose setting powder in a glow finish sets makeup for lasting weightless wear, extends makeup wear with sheer coverage and lasting natural luminosity while blurring fine lines. Okay, so we gonna see about this. We gonna see. We gonna see. This is what the jar looks like. The original powder jar, the lid is... Um, one solid color. This one is chrome. And let's open this up. It also comes with a seal and a shifter. Honestly, I'm a little scared of this powder because it looks light. Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like. There's a nice little brownish tint to it, but it still looks scary. So what I'm going to do is swirl the powder around at the lid like that following the instructions, of course. And I'm just going to Yeah, you definitely want to tap off any excess powder that you have. Because there, there is a sheen to this. I feel like I'm rubbing a really... I feel like I'm putting highlighter all over my face. That's what it feels like. See that sheen? I don't know if y'all can see that. But there's like a sheen to it. It's, it's golden. This kind of reminds me of bronzer in the sense that you bronze before you contour. If that makes any sense. Kind of like if you wanted to highlight but you didn't want to have a beam going across your face like most of us do. <laughs> I feel like that's what that's powder for. What that powder is for. If you have texture, hair on your face, acne. This is this is definitely a lot more subtle than a highlighter would be but since it's all across your face since it goes all across the face it might make you feel a little insecure i don't know hmm. i'm gonna go ahead and grab my mac powder and i'm gonna use this brush because i want to see how this brush works with other powder I feel like the divot in the brush right here keeps it from applying the powder evenly. Even if you dip the whole brush into powder, if you don't have contours in your face naturally, the brush kind of just applies the powder here 
in here and I don't like that. But I'm guessing it's meant to go like up through here because that's where it's working better because that's where it actually fits. If that makes any sense. Yeah. So here and here, I guess. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, I have no idea how I feel about this. I may have to film a totally different video and let you guys know so that I can just like go into detail about it. But my initial thought was I'm going to look ashy. I look a little ashy. The glow is there definitely. I don't think this is going to suit people with deeper complexions very much at all. They'll definitely have to make darker ones because this is not one size fits all. I mean, I'm not even I'm not even tan and I feel like it's a little ashy. I have to check and see if it does flashback. You know what? I'm just going to do a whole separate video on this because I feel like it's not like... I mean, there's a nice little subtle glow or whatever, but I don't... I feel like I need to go into detail about it. So I will do a separate video. I will clean the brush and everything, and I will do a separate video. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish my eyeballs. Let me finish my eyeballs. Let me finish my eyeballs because I have to go to work, sis. I'm going to take this cobalt blue eyeliner from L'Oreal and put it on my waterline. I love, love blue on my eyes. Then I'm going to take the NYX Vivid Brights liner in the shade Vivid Sapphire. And I am going to put it across my lashes so that whenever the eyeliner starts to fade, it has something to back it up. I really wish that these liners were better formulated because if they didn't crack, oh my god, they would be magnificent. They would be perfection. Like, I wouldn't have to go anywhere else for liner. And I'm going to take this blue liner up here. Where this shadow is and I'm gonna take a little bit of urban and put it right out here on my outer corner just to have a little bit of a connection I don't really want any shadow on my lower lash line but I still don't want to disconnect if that makes any sense then I'm gonna take a little bit of the blue like literally a little bit And put it right on top of that. And then I'm going to take some more of Marabou. And I'm going to put it right down here. Now I'm going to wear my E11 lashes from AliExpress. That is what they look like. Super duper cute. I will put on some blush and highlight and I'll be right back. The most boring thing ever, waiting for my lash glue to dry. While I wait for this lash glue to dry, I'm going to do my highlight and I'm using NARS Le Multiple. And I'm going to rub it on the bottom of my booty blender, like so. And yes, I'm putting quite a bit on because I want to glow. Yes, oh yes, this is so good. Oh yeah, the best. I like using this because I can put it on top of powder and it'll just blend right in. Whereas with a liquid or, you know, whatever, they don't do that, so. As if it was not enough, I'm going to use my Sam Marcel highlighting palette. I've been using a different color every day this week. So far, I've used Tres Chic and Amour. So I'm going to use Voila. And these are really pigmented, so. I literally just barely tap. 
And I'm going to use my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara on my lower lashes because why not? And for my lips, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Candy Venom. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you learned something. I'm going to be late to work, but you know what? I did it, it's done, and I really like it. I'm really proud, I'm glad that I sat down and put some color on because honestly, that's my favorite part of doing makeup, is having all the colors, the glitters, and just go ham. Yeah, I will see y'all next time. Leave a comment below, share this video, like this video, subscribe, and watch the next video. I know that's a lot to do, but you can do it. I believe in you. Enjoy the next videos. Tap on them, hit autoplay. Ooh, and turn on your notification bell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye, y'all.